Hey, it's the Midnight Raven, and today we're going to look at an item from Timu. So if you're new to Timu, I am the Midnight Raven. Welcome to my channel. Timu is a shopping app which you can get on your phone, or you can have it on your laptop or desktop. And today we are looking at these that I purchased from Timu. Also, if you want to shop from Timu yourself, my affiliate links for downloading it or buying from it are in the description. Just go down there and you'll find all the information. I do get a little incentive from you using that link. So if you do use it, comment down below and let me know you used it. So today we are looking at this. And this is a retro nostalgia fashion show scrapbooking stickers. There were eight different types. Each of them were different colours, basically. The fashion I chose was like blue slash purple. Um, the link was this. So you also could get red, you could get yellow. The one I wanted was black, was at a stop. There was a white one. And you basically just pick uh, which style, uh, as it clicked over, that you wanted. And then you just pick the style and it would come up and you'd see everything that was in it and the colour. So I chose blue. Uh, in here there are 40 different outfits and they were £1.28 no matter what colour you got. So I got the blue and they come in this really cool retro packaging which I think is cool. Now me, myself, I love fashion of the bygone eras, especially the 60s, 70s, I also love the 20s and 30s for like speakeasy clothes. So in here, as you see, we have all the fashion and the ladies. Uh, so they come in this really cool, just really cool little leaflet, kind of like a fashion magazine you'd have had, um, you know, on the front of an actual fashion magazine cover. Okay, so let's take a look at these 40 different clothes. So obviously, I don't know what decade these are from. It just says retro, so we could be looking at 50s, 60s, could be 70s. So they each kind of different. So here we have this kind of sign of smock dress with a little bow in the middle. She's got gloves on. I don't know about you, but if you go back in history, women used to wear a lot of gloves and a lot of hats. Now, how many people do you go around nowadays wearing hats and gloves if they're not at like a fancy place or Ascot or something? I wear a hat all the time, all the time, day in, day out. You will always find me donning a hat. Gloves, not so much. Not much of a gloves fan, apart from like winter time. Also, you get to see some really cool retro hair. And then this woman, again, you've got two of the same. Um, so this is repeated. It didn't state that they were repeated, so I did complain. And if I am right, I did get a partial refund because I complained to the fact that it didn't state that you got multiples of the same one, which is fine, but it didn't state that. It said 40 pack of nostalgia fashion. It didn't say repeats. And it doesn't show repeats with the pictures either. So here's another outfit. Obviously, you know, there's two of them. But this woman has this really nice kind of, I don't know what the shape is, but I do like her top, the way it cuts, it's like a blouse. Um, and she's obviously got that nice hair flick, kind of like 1950s, you know, um, army girl flick, as they call it. And she obviously got handbag, shoes. Okay. Next, we're going for something a bit more leisurely. So this is the kind of outfit that they'd probably wear more sporty. You see she's got like a sweatband. I had to think what it was called. So she's got like a shorts and a top. This is the kind of thing you might see a girl with at poolside or walking down the, like, the front of the beach kind of thing. The shorts and the top and everything. And she's got what looks like to be like sort of slip on shoes, she's got hair in a bun. You don't want to be going to the beach and having your hair flipping all over the place. You want it kind of more sleek. Okay, next we are donning. We are donning those curls. Look at that hair. So this woman's obviously in I'll just 
have it like this. She's obviously in party mode, so you could just see one of them because it's too confusing. Uh, she's obviously in party mode. She's donning this very delicate housewife kind of style. She's got like a drink in hand. She's got a plate of food. She's obviously like entertaining and playing host. And that hair, that kind of bouffant hairstyle, she's got on fleek. I'm telling you, so on fleek. Next, where are we going now? I think we're going to a more conservative household. Uh, we obviously have two of this one as well. This is more conservative. This is like conservative daughter. So you've got the long white dress, you've got the jacket over the top. Maybe she's just come back from being at the mall. Kind of like daughter-esque vibe. She's not quite showing too much off the, the length of the skirt and everything, you know. Because, you know, kids back in that day, you push the boundaries with fashion, but parents were a stickler for like, get upstairs and put some clothes on. Next, here we go again. Got another short skirt again. And she's got this like, I don't know what the kind of top is. It reminds me of like a life jacket. Or it's more like a vest top. Again, probably going to the beach or by the poolside. You know, that kind of, what's it called? Leisure wear that people wear. More like leisure wear. Okay, now we're going back to being wined and dined. And this is more like going to a country music hall. You know, where you're going to like dance the night away. And she's got her white gloves on again. See, this whole retro thing of white gloves, the hair, the hats. Oh, I love this era. Um, obviously, she's got her dress on. She's got her earrings in. This is obviously when she gets there, she's going to take her gloves off and she's going to shake a little thing. We're going partying um, in this one. Okay. Let's find a girl that isn't partying. What about a day at the office? Now, don't get me wrong. We love a good party, but we've also got to make that money. So this girl is going to the office. Um, maybe she works for a fashion magazine. Maybe she's an editor and director. Um, maybe she has her own company. She does look like she's suited and booted for work. She's got the sleek hair. Again, got the gloves. She took her gloves off. She's in work, meaning business. Okay, next. Oof. Next, we are going for a more conservative day drive in the car. So this is the kind of outfit you'd wear when you go for a little drive, like a Sunday drive in the car. Um, you've got your clothes. Again, she's got, she's got gloves. Yeah, she's got gloves. She's obviously going for a Sunday drive. She's got sunglasses on. She's like, I am ready to go. You know, we're going to take a drive. We're going to find a little cafe, have a little drink. Okay, next we're going partying again. Yes, we are hitting the town again with this beautiful dress. And again, donning the... I wish more of these had hats. Um, but we're donning gloves this time. Again, got a pretty pastel dress. She's off to like the dance club and she's going to be like, you know, Charles Stinger and everything. Maybe not Charles Stinger, but that was a retro dance I could think of. Okay. What else do we have? Okay, something a bit more sophisticated. We're back in the office again. We are going for businesswoman. Look at that stare. She's telling some people, you know, get back to work. In her very, very tight um, outfit, as you can see there. Okay, a couple more. Okay, now we're going for another Sunday drive, but this time we're also going to drive to church. This is church wear because she has a hat, she has a handbag, she has her gloves. This woman's going to church and then they're going for a Sunday roast. Sunday roast and church in this one. Okay, next we have. This one, again, probably going to a dance hall for a party or going for a summer cocktail party, maybe. She's got her whole kind of cocktail S. This vest tops where they were like box, where they gave you no shape. I, d I don't know what they saw in them. I really don't. Okay. Now we've got f sophisticated office woman again. Um, although she does look like an air hostess. <laughs> With the white gloves and the, the very white collar and, and everything. She could be an air hostess. A very regal air hostess. Maybe she's on like a private jet or something. Okay, couple more. Ooh, let me just ooh, find, the, find the matching women. 
go. Matching women time. We have another ball gown. This woman is going dancing again. Just imagine kind of 1970s kind of John Travolta, you know, um, summer loving kind of, you know, dancing like, you know. Okay. Another dress. This time I think we're going to more like dance hall. Um, again, the white gloves, the very like shapely balloon dresses. I don't know what they're called. They have a have a term. I call them a balloon because they like have the shape of a balloon. You got another balloon dress. Then we have mum's wear. So this is like mum's wear or nan's wear. Just some really thin pants and a flowery top. This is obviously mum's wear or nan's wear, depending on the lady. Okay. Then we have another dress. And this is more like a shift dress because the, the shape, it's literally like collar down. Uh, if you're looking for like, um, if you're a tall woman, this dress like lengthens you, but if you're short, it also lengthens you as well because it is just a thing. The problem is, if you're a big girl, it can become like boxy. You don't want to become boxy. This woman again is going for a Sunday drive. Two to go. Next, we have another kind of powerhouse office woman wearing another shift dress. This one, her face looks a bit like. She's had a rough day at the office, like a, like a proper rough day. And then one last one, we are going to, oh, I don't know, maybe we're just walking the main high street, maybe going shopping at the mall. Has she got a hat on? No, we need more hats. Um, but there's that. So there were 40 there for £1.20. I, I might actually consider buying some of the other packs um, in the different colours. Um, just to see what other fashion there was. Um, there were a couple of different ones. Uh, even now, there's still some that you can you can get. Um, I'm not sure what color I would go for. I'm not really into like buying like the yellow one. Um, you got a white one. You got a blue one. You got a purple one. You got green, red. Uh, there was a black one. But it was more coats, um, which could be interesting to look at. And then there was a male one. Uh, so if you want to like and subscribe and give us a big thumbs up, comment down below your favourite fashion era. Now, I know you're going to say that you were born in the 80s or the 90s or whenever you're watching my video. Um, but what year would you like to have been born in for the fashion? I would love to have been 20s or 30s or 60s or 70s. Uh, so let me know down below what fashion era you wish you'd been born in. Um, and maybe even your fashion, favourite fashion item of clothes. Mine would be hats. A Trilby hat would be my best. I've owned lots of them. So if you want to like, subscribe and big thumbs up. Like I said, if you want to check out my affiliate links, they're all in the description. Give it a big thumbs up. It's free and I will see you very soon for another Timu video. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye guys.